Hey everybody, it's Jennifer Fields coming to you today. It's Thursday afternoon, a lovely one in Denver, Colorado. And I just want to chat with you a little bit about masterminding and um, give you some tips if you wanted to start a mastermind of your own. Getting some people together and forming a mastermind group can be really beneficial if you have you know, business ideas or you're starting on a new business venture. Uh, or have goals you know that you want to achieve putting the right people together and creating a group that meets maybe weekly or even you know maybe if you're online you can chat daily really can benefit you to help you keep going and I'm in a couple of masterminds online with the company that I'm with and it really makes a difference and and I can be a testament to that because the last couple months I've sort of slipped and I haven't been participating as much on these mastermind uh, calls and hangouts and I could really start to feel a difference. I could feel myself um, having a, a tough time staying motivated and and kind of feeling alone. You know, I have a home-based business so if you're not connecting with people it can be a little challenging if you get into your own hole and, and you're not reaching out and, and being part of a group. So um, I was on one call today that's somewhat of a mastermind that I call into every morning and um, the host gave some tips on that and they're actually from Napoleon Hill um, suggestions that he had for if you want to form a mastermind so I wanted to share those with you and um, because it's very important you know the people you put together for the mastermind so to make it really successful so there are six tips that he provided that you may want to think about when you start a mastermind and the first one is loyalty is each member going to be loyal to you to the group and to your goals and ideas for your future, future <laughs> loyalty is a is a big um, big factor that you want to take into account when you're selecting members to be a part of your mastermind group. Number two is dependability. Will this person show up consistently to the group? You know, attendance and being a part of the group, no matter when you decide decide to meet, whether it's weekly, whether it's online, daily. You know, it's very important that people show up if if you get someone who's going to flake out and they're not going to be participating then what's the point of having them part of the mastermind group that's the part is is to come together share ideas and and support each other in your vision so dependability is number two number three is their ability do they have the ability can they contribute uh, do they have a good background or knowledge of the type of work that you're wanting to do or or the type of knowledge that can apply to your goals if they don't have a specific background that relates to your goals you know, are they at least capable of stretching themselves and, and helping you with brainstorming on your ideas or your cause? Um, you know, and are they serious and do they take action and follow through? So number three is ability. Number four is a positive mental attitude. You know, starting, you know, whether it's a business venture or maybe it's a, a health and fitness routine, you know, it can be a challenge to keep going and, and you need to have people together who can keep things positive and and bring a positive mindset you don't you don't need any negativity in a mastermind group number five is do they go the extra mile are they the type who will go the extra mile for you do they serve to truly help and contribute to the group and will they go above and beyond to help deliver results and success for everyone's success and finally number six was applied faith are they a believer do they have faith that backed by action you know when you set out on new ventures you really have to believe you have to believe that you can do it and believe that your ideas are a big possibility and something that helps that belief is faith and and that could be anything it could be religious faith you know universal faith just a strong faith within that this can be successful because that's what's really going to um, carry your actions and, and push your actions to making things happen and um, getting us to where we want to believe in life. So someone who has applied faith, they have faith and they can take action that's that's fueled by the faith. Um, again, these six points came from Napoleon Hill and I heard these on a morning mastermind call that I do. It's actually called Think and Grow Rich Call and it's a great call for anyone. It's not company specific, it's just you know people coming together with with a um, similar vision of success in our lives, in all areas of our lives, and um, it's just good people and good energy to start your day. 
and there's a recorded version as well. Actually, I'll put a number to the recording below if you're interested in dialing in. Anybody can call in. And um, that's it. I just want to share that with you. I thought that was really helpful. I have a friend here locally who's looking to develop a mastermind group, so I thought that was perfect timing. Anyways, if you're interested in the work that I'm doing, you can click the link below. Otherwise, I will talk to you soon. Have a good night. Bye.